I'm going to show you how to make my favorite, um, especially when you want something a little bit lighter and something that's kind of fancy. It's my raspberry chicken breast. And I'm going to show you how to make a quick pan sauce and a wonderful raspberry sauce to really dress these babies up. So the first thing I like to do when it comes to a lot of my recipes using chicken breasts is you probably notice that they, um, they're they not all created equal, these chicken breasts, and they're very kind of uh, thicker in the middle and thinner as it goes to the outside. So the way I try and take care of that so that they'll cook more evenly and cook very, very quickly is I'm just going to give them a quick pound. If you have a meat mallet, fantastic. If you don't, just a heavy, uh, you know, frying pan will work, a rolling pin will work. And you want to use, if you do have a meat mallet, you want to use the flat side of the meat mallet. And you don't want to pound them too much, because you don't want to have them start ripping apart. And some of the chicken breasts here were smaller, some bigger, so there we go, done. Just a quick pound, it's a great way to get up that frustration at the end of the day. All right. Now we're going to take these boneless, skinless chicken breasts and we're going to season them with a little bit of salt and pepper. And some fresh or so dried thyme. I love using fresh thyme when you have it. And I just kind of take the leaves and it's really going to give it some nice flavor. And then dredge it quickly in flour. I'm going to heat some oil in a big old skillet, the biggest skillet you have. This is a pretty quick fix. We're just going to take advantage of some of the great flavor from the, the chicken um, and, and create a, a delicious pan sauce. So into the flour it goes. Just a light, the fancy word is dredging, and into our skillet. So I'm going to continue and kind of get an assembly line going. Wipe up my mess. And it doesn't really matter which order, as long as we're seasoning these in a little bit of thyme, pepper, some more of that fresh thyme. And then again into our skillet. So we'll just do three of them so you get the idea. I took that. I'm off the heat just for a minute because that skillet was just getting a little bit too hot on me, so I wanted to control the heat. I want these nice and golden brown. Oh, I, don't, you, I wish you could smell the, the thyme, that fresh thyme. Now, if you had drive thyme, like I say, that will work, but there is nothing like... Some dried herbs are actually, like dried oregano, I'm a huge fan of. Um, I like them better, but boy, fresh thyme, there is just nothing like it. Can you smell that, Ann? Yep. It smells fantastic. Do a little bit of time on the other side too, because I've got the time. Why not do it? And it is real important to season on both sides, not just the one side of the chicken breasts. And whatever you're cooking, if you were doing pork chops, which by the way, pork chops um, would be a great sub and would work absolutely perfectly in this recipe. You could do exactly what I'm doing, except just use pork chops, dredge them with some flour, season them with salt, pepper, and a little bit of thyme, fry them in some olive oil, and create a very uh, same raspberry sauce. Okay, so let me give these a quick flip. See if they're nice and golden. Oh, we're getting there. I'm gonna do a little bit more oil. Didn't put quite enough when I've got the flour in there, and the flour is also gonna help thicken the sauce a little bit. And by the way, we love getting your recipes. So if you have any great recipes to share, or if you have a way to jazz up chicken, or just, you know, jazz up cake mixes, I'm all about jazzing things up. That's really the way I roll. We love hearing your recipes, and who knows? Um, I may make them one day, or you could come on the show and make them with me. Perfect. That flour gives it a nice coating. 
and also is going to um, thicken the sauce. But it's going to give the chicken breast a little bit of texture. But it's not like a, a you know, like fried chicken per se. It's not going to have a big crunchy batter on it, but it's just going to be really nice. Boy, I made a mess today, didn't I, Ann? Today. Yeah, I knew she was going to say that. Today, every day. Okay, so I'm going to get to work on some of the other ingredients that I'm using in this recipe. I've got some chicken stock. I've got some seedless raspberry jam. And uh, now a little bit of balsamic vinegar and some fresh raspberries. And then to garnish the dish, you could use a little fresh parsley or a little bit of fresh thyme. So it's up to you, whatever you have. I think I'll actually stick with the thyme. Why not? All right, so at this point, once our chicken breasts are starting to get nice and golden. I'm going to remove them to a plate. We'll put them back in here to finish cooking. I'm going to cover them with a little bit of foil to keep them nice and warm and they'll also continue to cook a little bit. That baby doesn't want to come out of there. You're out. So I'm going to cover those chicken breasts with foil. And now I'm going to get to work on this sauce. You know, when you go out to a restaurant, you see a nice chicken breast or pork or steak with some sort of lovely sauce. And those sauces are so incredibly easy to make. You see the great brown bits on the bottom of the pan from the chicken and the flour? That, my friend, is flavor. So we want to take advantage of that flavor. And, you know, this is, we're doing a raspberry sauce, but this is more of a method. If you're going to fry up some chicken breasts anyway, uh, why not? take advantage of the brown bits and, and whatever you're serving, whether you make a, a marsala sauce with marsala wine and mushrooms to go over the chicken breasts, maybe a lemon caper sauce with white wine, lemon juice, and some capers. Those brown bits are flavor and they are delicious. So I took some chicken stock, about a cup, cup and a half to two cups of chicken stock, and the big fancy word is we're deglazing the pan with that. So there's these great brown bits at the bottom. And we're going to use them to make a quick pan sauce. Then we've got some of that seedless raspberry jam that I mentioned. So we're going to take some of that, whisk that in here. And this isn't going to be real sweet. I think when people see this recipe, raspberry chicken, they think, ooh, I'm not a big fan of really sweet, you know, dinner recipes. Don't worry, this is nothing like dessert. This is in here with chicken stock and the savory drippings from the chicken. So it, it really is a nice sauce. It's not going to be too sweet at all. It's just kind of kind of have that hint of raspberry, which I happen to love. Okay, now we're going to do a little bit of balsamic vinegar, just about a tablespoon. So we've got a little bit of the sweet from the jam, the savory, and now we've got a little bit of acid, so a little bit of tart. And it smells absolutely delish. At this point, I may do a little more chicken stock. It's starting to thicken up just a little bit, so I love the, the chicken stock in the box because you can just kind of take out what you have when you need it, you know, the amount you need. Sauces are kind of one of those things where it's not an exact recipe. You just kind of kind of tweak it a little bit, a little bit of salt and pepper. Now I'm going to throw the chicken and any drippings that accumulated on the plate right back in here. To finish cooking, maybe a little more fresh thyme to go in the sauce. And we're also going to do some fresh raspberries. Look at how beautiful this is. Shaping up to be a really nice dinner and it's so quick and easy. So here goes some fresh raspberries. If you don't have them, you could use frozen raspberries, or you don't need raspberries at all. They're just going to look really pretty in this dish, and we don't need a whole ton of them. Just a handful. I know they can be a little bit expensive. And the last thing we're going to throw in here, and I like to do this off the heat, is a little pat of butter. You don't have to do it, but it's going to really richen that sauce. 
And if it's getting a little thin on you, it's going to tighten it right up. Again, if your sauce is a little bit thick, you could add a little bit more chicken stock. This is actually looking perfect. This is kind of a light dish. So I thought we'd keep it nice and light and serve it with just some rice pilaf or wild rice to soak up that sauce. Um, a little bit of steamed veg, like in this case we've got some asparagus, broccoli, and there we go. We'll take some of our chicken. And of course we need to get a spoon and spoon up some of the sauce and the raspberries. It's not really like a gravy, so we don't need tons of sauce. And it's going to be strong because we've got a little bit of that balsamic vinegar. But there you go. And I'm just going to garnish it with a little bit of, again, thyme or parsley would be nice. But being that we've got some thyme in the dish anyway, we'll do a little bit of thyme. So there you go. My raspberry chicken, it is a quick fix, something you'd pay 20 bucks or more for out at a restaurant for an entree like this. Save some dough, make it at home. It's cheap to make, something a little bit special to jazz up ordinary chicken breasts with that quick raspberry sauce.